Good day, yogis. My name is Eric, and this is an Elevate Level 2-3 class. There would be elements of arm balances. There would be elements of shoulder strengthening, shoulder stability focused um, sequence. Expect that in the sequence, and as usual, you're here to honor your body and honor your practice, so allow the practice to just go and change you as you move. We will start today standing on our mats. Feet slightly hip point distance apart, slightly bent with the knees, and just give yourselves a little bit of some quiet time. And as your breaths become familiar, let the feet be the same with the ground. And although we're not practicing together, imagine that you're drawing from the core of the earth and it going through the soles of the feet. It goes through the soles of your feet and it eventually ripples up towards the crown of the head. Two more breaths here. We'll keep the knees softly bent for now because we have not warmed up the hamstrings yet. Sweep the arms high as you inhale. And gently fold with a round spine, empty and exhale. Don't rush. Now let the back activate now, come into a halfway lift. Fold, empty slowly. With rounded spine, press your feet, slowly rise up. Once your head comes up, move the arm sideways and up as you inhale. Bring hands to the sides and down next to the legs as you exhale. Awakening the body up. Inhale, arms high. Fold, empty with soft bend onto the knees. Do a halfway lift, flat spine. Fold, empty up. Round the spine, slowly come up one vertebrae at a time, and arms follow. Hands to the sides and down. Sweep arms high for the last time. Fold, empty as you exhale. Step the left leg back this time, knee lands down, stay on your fingers, go into a low fingertip lunge as you inhale. Start straightening the right leg, shift the hips back and readjust the right foot if it's what it needs today. Keep the fingertips there, do a halfway lift with the torso as you inhale. Your right hand reach it back and up then forwards and down. Do an arm rotation. Do that one more time to lubricate the shoulder joint. As you exhale, bring fingers down and fold. Come into a low lunge, re-bend the right knee, lift and drive the chest forwards. Reset up the left knee for a supportive side plank. Left palm down, left foot to the left, and keep the right leg up and back. Right arm high. Do not let your tailbone stick out. Think of buttocks to the heels as you inhale. Both hands land, go into a three-legged down dog. Left leg swings up and back as you exhale. Bend the knee, roll the hip open as you inhale. Lift the right heel. Very quietly trace your spine, come into a tiger curl until the knee goes to your nose. Big step foot, left foot down, right knee down, left arm high as you inhale, come on your fingers, open twist. Bring hands down to the floor, tops of the mat, forward fold, empty and exhale out. With a rounded spine, slowly ripple up, inhale high. Fold right away, empty and exhale. 
This time, right leg steps back, bring the knee down, low fingertip lunges, inhale. Coming to pyramid pose, or half splits rather, as you exhale. Readjust the left foot if you need to. On your next inhale, halfway lift. Left hand reaches back and up, forwards and down. Keep the hips level, two more rotations with the arm. Finish your exhale, left fingers to re-land and fold. Rebend the left knee as you inhale, low lunge on fingers. Readjust the right knee, right palm down, supported side plane, left leg swings back, left arm comes up. Use your inhale to draw the ribs in. Hands down, left foot down, three-legged down dog, right leg swings up and back. Bend the knee, roll the hip open as you inhale. Go into a tiger curl, empty and exhale out. Big step through, left knee lands, come on your fingers, right arm comes up. Slowly, fingers down, step forward, tops of the mat, forward fold and empty out. Do a halfway lift with flat spine. Fold, empty and exhale. Come into a chair pose as you bend your knees, bring the arms sideways and up in breath. Hold here for a moment. You're pressing your heels down to feel your quads as you sink the hips. Reach the arms high without sticking the buttock so much. On your exhale, bend your elbows, cactus the arms. Inhaling, straighten the arms to the sides as you inhale, rotate the thumbs out to lift the chest. Now slowly rotate the thumbs in, rotate it internally, the arms and around the spine as you exhale. Re-rotate the arms, chair pose as you inhale. Slowly fold, empty and exhale. Flat spine, halfway lift. Step back into downward facing dog, empty, exhale out. Come into high plank, lift your heels, roll forwards, feel every vertebra of the spine. Slowly hover the knees, empty and exhale, as close to the floor as you can. Without sinking into the belly, allow the belly to rise up. Allow the hands to push at the same time. One more inhale. Stay and exhale. Come to high plank without sticking the buttocks out, inhaling. This time, hover the elbows. So you move the shoulders back, bring the forearms down, hover them, and readjust the toes. The alignment we would want to see here is elbow, elbow tips in line with the shoulders. Two more breaths. Inhale. Finish the exhale. Slowly high plank, walk the toes so your shoulders line up with your wrist. Downward facing dog, empty and exhale out. Re-roll up to high plank, you come forwards. Come into a turbo dog, knees to hover, move the hips back so your forearms can hover in the same way. Think of your elbows trying to resist the floor, lifting your chest up as you inhale. Now use the power of your legs, chaturanga, your shoulders are in place. Slowly, baby cobra, inhale, lift the chest. Slowly, forehead down. Retuck your toes, push the navel up to the ceiling, come to all fours as you inhale. Downward facing dog, empty, exhale out. One breath. Stay and exhale. 
Slowly bend the knees. Just walk to the tops of the mat halfway when you reach there, inhaling. Fold as you empty. One more chair pose. Bend the knees, inhale. Cactus the arms, exhale. Extend arms to the sides, rotate the thumbs out, lift the chest. Rotate the thumbs in, round the spine. Chair pose, inhaling, rise. Fold, empty, exhale out. Halfway lift as you inhale. Slowly down the facing dog as you step back. One breath. Long spine, empty and exhale. Lift your heels, come to high plank as you inhale. Forearm plank, shoulders shift back, forearms down. Reassess and re-walk the toes back as you exhale out. Coming to a sphinx pose, hips to ground first, untuck the toes, drag the chest forwards. Slowly coming to a forearm plank, lift the frontal hips up. Start lifting your forearms, eventually the undersides of your arms as you inhale. You will walk your toes with knees bent so you're in turbo dog as you exhale. In breath here. Now use your legs, chaturanga, empty and exhale. Up dog and rise up. Downward facing dog, empty, exhale. One breath. Stay and exhale. Lift your heels, right leg comes up as you inhale. Bring knee to nose, curl forward to round the spine. Big step through, left knee down, I'm Janyasana with the back toes untucked. Go into eagle arms, right arm under as you exhale. We will lift the elbows away from the navel. Lean forwards until you can go into Dekasana. Empty and exhale. Move your elbows further away from your navel as you inhale. Stay and exhale. Bend the front knee, come into a chair pose in eagle arms, inhaling. Untangle, fold, then straighten the legs as you exhale. Halfway lift, big breath in. Slowly vinyasa, high to low, empty, exhale out. Without short changing the breath. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Left leg comes high, deep breath. Curl and exhale. Step through. Knee lands on Janyasana, press the tops of the feet. Left arm under, eagle the arms, please. Lift the elbow tips high, lean forward until you can float into Dekasana eagle arms. Move your elbows away from you as you inhale. Stay as you exhale. Bend the left knee. Chair pose, eagle arms, in breath. Slowly fold, empty, exhale out. Halfway lift as you inhale. Your version of vinyasa, empty, exhale out. Inhaling for up dog. Downward facing dog. Empty, exhale. One breath. Hold and empty. Lift your heels, right leg lifts. Curl, empty out. 
Come into your first warrior one, guys. Back heel spins down, lift the arms high. And for this version of warrior one, your feet at least hip width distance apart. Now lift the arms high, interlace the fingers behind your back and go into a bind. Start with your elbows bent, wrists together, concentrate on the tops of the shoulders, pushing back, then you straighten the arms. Now lift the chest up. Slowly press your right heel as you go into Humble Warrior. Now press the left leg edge of the foot. You come up as you inhale. Humble Warrior, empty and exhale. Keeping the legs active, one more. Inhale, empty and fold. From the back foot, release the bind, come into warrior one. Inhale. Vinyasa, empty, exhale. Up dog. We come into downward facing dog, empty and exhale. Left leg to rise. Big curl, empty and exhale. Warrior one, re-check the feet, lift the arms high. Feet at least hip width distance apart. One more inhale. Bind from behind you the opposite pinky at the bottom. Wrists together, elbows are bent. Concentrate on your shoulders, pushing back. Then straighten the arms, lift the chest. Coming to humble warrior. Empty, press your left heel. Press your right leg edge of the foot. You come up. Slowly, humble warrior. Empty and exhale. One more, inhaling. Without loosing the hugging of the legs, humble and exhale. Come into warrior one. Inhale, stay low with your left, lunge. Vinyasa, empty, exhale out. Inhale, up dog. Downward facing dog, empty and exhale. Just a breath here. Hold and empty. With your heels, right leg high. Curl to exhale. Come into warrior one, lift up. Do a warrior two, readjust the back foot, the ankle, and keep the hands reaching away from one another. Your left hand will go into half bind. You can use your right hand to set it up in place. Left hand can go towards the waistband of your pants or your shorts. Right hand reaches forwards. Try to eliminate overarching of the low back. Think of your ribs descending down. Take one breath in. Adjust the feet into Trikonasana, keeping the bind as you exhale. This is where the block comes in, if you need the block under the right hand. If the right hand is floating, either on top of the shin or inside of the thigh, Think of moving the torso towards the right toes. Pause. Now your ribs, knit them slightly together and bring them towards your left outer hip. One inhale here. Don't worry about the gaze. Stay and exhale. Lift your left arm high for full Trikonasana. Stay, exhale out. Now come up, right toes turn in to prasarita, wide leg distance legs. And slowly fold towards your hips, empty and exhale. Think of chaturanga arms, think of elbow tips, lining up with 
your wrist creases, pressing the toes and lifting the shoulders away from the floor. We want a long neck here. Two more breaths. Take your last one as you inhale. Keep the fire into the legs as you exhale. Slowly bring the hands under the shoulders, come into a halfway lift. Bring the hands into your hips, use your back muscles. Rise up as you inhale. Softly bend the knees and come into chair pose, hands to hips, empty and exhale. Lift your arms high as you inhale. Slowly fold, empty, exhale out. Come into halfway lift, hands under the shoulders. Come into your first crow pose. For this four, first crow pose, you want your knees to be just right above the elbow tips. And that way you don't lean the weight too far, too far forward. Bend the elbows, allow the elbows to line up with your wrist. As you hug the thumbs and round the spine, lift your toes high. Pause and exhale. Two more breaths. This is a lot easier crow variation. One more. Stay as you exhale. Ground your toes down first. Move your knees in. Come into a boat pose. Sit the bum down and lift your legs high. Stay for breath. Hold and exhale. Option to straighten the legs, keep lifting the chest. Low boat, empty and exhale. Two more like that. Inhale. You'll get to your mat soon, don't worry. Hands into low boat. One more. Inhaling. Low boat, empty and exhale. Stay there. Think of your low back getting pinned into the floor. One inhale. Keep the shoulder blades buoyant off the floor as you exhale. Come into high boat as you inhale. You'll come into a side boat. Move your left forearm to the backs of the mat. Lean onto your left butt cheek and start lifting your heels off the floor. Readjust your left forearm if you need to, but stay into your left butt cheek, left forearm down. Option to keep the right hand to the right hip. Maybe right hand in front of the chest, or stay at what variation you want to do. Keep your core engaged. Land your left blade edge of the foot, coming to forearm side plank. From here, bend the right knee, coming to tree pose with your right leg. The more the right sole of the foot pushes down, the more the left thigh needs to press up. Lift your right arm high. Pause and exhale. One more inhale. Come into a side plank, wild thing on your forearm. Right ball of the foot down. Lift your right arm high and turn the torso up to the ceiling. One breath here. Hold, then exhale. We will come up into a pistol squat. Move your bum down first, come up, and slowly lift your bum. Reach your fingers towards your toes. Option to use your hands. Slowly come up as you inhale. Stay and exhale. Maybe hands high as you inhale. Slowly samastitihi. Gently walk towards the tops of your mat as you exhale. Lift the arms high. Fold through the hips. Slowly halfway lift as you inhale. Your choice of transition, if you're working on your handstands, go for it. If you're going on a jump back, make sure that you bend your elbows right away. One breath. We meet in 
downward facing dog. Left leg to rise, please. Bring it to your nose, empty. Do a warrior one, rise and lift. Come into warrior two, readjust the back leg. Use your left hand to find the half bind with your right. Right shoulder pushes back without overly arching your low back. Pause. Stay low with the lunge as you inhale. Come into half bind trikonasana. Adjust the right foot, the back leg. Swing the hips back a little. And come into half bound trikonasana. Think of not overly arching, but ribs pulling in, but moving towards the right outer hip and chest moving away from you. Now take an inhale here, pause and exhale. Reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Go for full trikonasana as you exhale. Slowly rise up, left toes turning for prosody of wide legged. Fold, empty, exhale out. If you want to go into an inversion, and if it feels safe for you, go and do so. We'll stay for three breaths. If you're right inverted, you slowly come back, allow the feet to touch the floor, then go into a halfway lift, bring the hands under the shoulders, Hands to your hips as you exhale. Rise up with flat spine, come up. Bend your knees to come into chair pose, empty and exhale. Reach the arms, then slowly forward fold, empty and exhale. Halfway lift, bring the hands under the shoulders. Crow pose, part two. This time, knees to your triceps or armpits. Lean forward enough that you feel your toes rise. We, when you do this variation, the weight is slightly more forwards. You have to make sure that your finger pads and your knuckles are down. One more inhale. Stay and exhale. Toes to ground first. Knees together, come into boat pose. Option to straighten the legs. We're just sneaking boat pose when we can. Take an inhale, low boat, empty and exhale. Two more like that. In, exhale. Last one. In, exhale, low boat. Stay here for breath, hold, and empty out. High boat to rise. Your right forearm will ground. You will scoop the right hip. So you will be in a side boat, left hand, left hip, or left hand in front of the hip or the chest. Flex your feet and slowly come into forearm plank as you inhale. Come into tree, forearm, side plank as you exhale. Forearm, side plank guiding. Left arm can rise, or left hand, left hip. Stay and exhale. Come into forearm, wild thing. Lift the hips up as you inhale. Stay and exhale. Sit the bum down, slowly come up into pistol squat. Hold and exhale. You have to lean forwards to slowly come up. Hold, exhale out. Maybe arms high as you inhale. Samas titi Empty, exhale out. Oops, earplugs. 
Stay in Samastiti for a moment. Left leg as your standing leg, come to a stork pose. Hands to prayer. And come into figure four legs and move the hips further down. So think of your left hip moving into the right side body and your right underside of your hip lifting up. Stay here. Hold and exhale. Bring your left hand to your left hip, right piece fingers to your right big toes. You will stand up with your right knee bent and slowly straighten your right leg forwards. Pull the right shoulder head back, keep lifting the chest. On your exhale, move the right leg to the right side without your left hip bone moving forwards. One breath here, stay and exhale. Come back to center, lift your arms high without leaning back or forwards. Use your hip flexors and your quads. Slowly arrow head as you exhale up. Move and reach your hands over your head as you inhale. Go into a downward facing dog. Empty, exhale up. Come to high plank, in breath. Move the shoulders back, forearms down, and scoop the toes back into forearm plank. Bring your left hand, left forearm across to the tops of your mat. Roll into a side plank. Right hand, right hip. Do a tree pose with your right leg, or peace fingers with your big toes, and extend your right leg up to the ceiling. One breath here. Stay and exhale. And then slowly come into side plank, other side, right hand rounds, roll onto the right blade edge of the foot, and you slowly rise up as you inhale. Come into wild thing, empty and exhale up. We'll come into a turbo dog, move both hands down, then forearms hover. Left foot grounds, knees hover as you inhale. Chaturanga as you exhale. Up dog to rise. Downward facing dog, empty and exhale. Slowly look forward, walk step or flow to the tops of the mat. Halfway lift. Full, empty up. This time, right leg is your standing leg, stork pose to rise up. Figure four with your legs, hands to prayer, empty and exhale. Again, right hip firms inwards, left underside of the hip lifts up. One more breath. Right hand, right hip. Peace fingers to your big toes. Stand tall as you inhale. Extend your left leg forwards as you exhale. Pull your left shoulder socket back. Extend it to the side without your right hip moving forward. Push it back in front of the outside hip. Beautiful. Move your left leg forwards. Extend your arms, use your quads, inhale here, slowly arrow head, empty and exhale. Extend the arms forwards, use your back strength and your core, hands down, downward facing dog, empty and exhale. High plank, you come forwards, lean the shoulders back, forearms down, 
adjust the toes into forearm plane. Quietly, right forearm across, go into a forearm side plank. Left sole of the foot on the right inner thigh as an option. Peace fingers, big toes, and extend your left leg up. Keep trying to ground the right big toe mound, but flex your foot. Slowly release, left hand down, come into a side plank. As you inhale, hold as you exhale. Inhale, wild thing, exhale, reach up. Come into a turbo dog. Both hands down, hover the forearms, right foot down, hover the knees. Chaturanga as you exhale. Up dog to rise, downward facing dog, empty and exhale. One breath here. Stay and exhale. Look forward, walk, step or flow, tops of the mat, halfway lift. Fold, empty and exhale. Sweep the arms high, inhale. Hands to prayer, empty, exhale out. Just process what transpired, process what happened, and allowing your strength to come not from the poses, but the strength that you have in your mind to figure out and choose which options are applicable for you today. One breath. Empty and exhale. Bring the hands to the sides. Sweep the arms high as you inhale. Fold, empty and exhale. Do a halfway lift. Vinyasa, empty, exhale out. Rise up, curl and exhale. Step through, come into warrior one, rise and lift. Hands behind and mind. Lift your chest please as you inhale. Humble warrior, stay and pause as you exhale. Move your shoulder heads away from the floor, heart moves down. Keep the hugging the legs, the right keep moving in close to the body. One more inhale. Stay and exhale. Now just release the hands, bring them on the inside of the right foot, and make sure that the shoulder is lower than the right knee. Then you can bring the right hand on the outside of the right pinky toe and hook the right shoulder. If this is too much on the back left, you can do crescent lunge back leg. Try to straighten the arms and lift the right heel. When you straighten the arms, the right heel will slowly lift up. We'll do a flying dragon here. You have to move the right heel close to your hips. You can let the right knee slide down a little, right about the elbow tip. Lean forward, leg like chaturanga arms, and lift the back leg up. Now take one breath here. Hold and exhale. You will ground your left foot, you will bring your right foot to ground, you will get your block, and you will come into half moon pose. Back leg, left leg rises up. Now stay for breath. Hold, empty and exhale. One more inhale. Bend the right knee, land your left toes, skandasana, left knee bends, and right leg straightens. 
If you need to walk under the hips, go and do so. There's so much options here, but make sure that your arms are in chaturanga arms, forearms parallel, and your left tricep is pressing against the inside of the left knee. Two breaths. Finish your last exhale, bring the fingers down, come into a side angle pose. Reground the right foot, re straighten the left leg, move your hands until your left hand reaches forwards. Blocks are essential in the practice, so don't disregard them if you need them. Inhale here. Slowly come into vinyasa or straight to down dog, empty and exhale up. Left leg will rise, curl and empty. Step left foot, come into warrior one, hip width distance apart with the legs. Find the opposite pinky at the bottom. Lift your chest, you know. Humble warrior, pause and empty out. It's not the forehead that needs to touch the floor, it's the heart. So think of heart descending as your hands reach up towards the ceiling. One more inhale. One more exhale. Slowly release the bind. Reland your hands on the insides of the left foot. Shoulders lower than the left knee. Left hand goes on the outside of the left foot as if you're framing the foot. Back foot can be crescent lunge back foot or warrior one. When you straighten the arms in around your spine, left heel can come up. So your left toes are barely touching the floor. Go into a flying dragon, move your left heel as close to your navel, slide your left knee down slightly about the elbow tips, hug the elbows and lift the right leg high. One breath in, one breath out. So we land the right toes, reground your left foot, get your block, and you will come into half moon pose. I'm gonna move a little because I've got a wall in front of me. <laughs> Inhale here. Hold and exhale. One breath. Bend your left knee, slowly, right toes ground, bend the knee, skandasana, left leg straight. If you need a block, go and get a block. It's very essential for practice, as I said earlier. We want the arms in chaturanga arms. Your right tricep pushing against the inside of the knee, and the knee pushes back in. Now we'll stay here for two breaths. Reground the fingers. We will come into a side angle pose. Left hand inside or outside. Right hand reaches forwards. Just one breath. Then low plank, empty, and exhale. Up. Downward facing dog and exhale. Bring the knees down for a moment. Come into child's pose and absorb everything. And it's not the poses that you don't do, but it's the poses that you actually do and what simmers and what comes up as you do them. One more breath. Very carefully you will come up, come into high plank, eventually down dog, 
and walk your hands to the backs of the mat, please. Halfway lift. Fold and empty out. Sweep and rise. Come up. Hands to prayer, then hands to the sides, empty and exhale. You will walk midway across your mat, so you're on the middle of your mat. Left leg will be a standing leg, come into a stork pose, please. And we will go into figure four legs, hands to prayer. If an arm balance is too much, that's all good. Concentrate on the foundations of this pose. Left hip in, right underside of the hip up. You can bring your right hand through in between your legs, bring the right hand towards the left ankle and move your left arm high into a figure four twist. If you want an arm balance, you have to bring your torso down as if you're rounding. Hands can ground down. Start preparing the right foot, flex it. Shelf your right shin directly where your armpits, triceps are. Now push your, your shins forward, but move your shoulders back. Line up the elbow tips and your wrist creases. Then start leaning forward to distribute the weight. Left heel comes up. You can stay here or you extend your left leg back. For Galabhasana, stay. If you want a funky transition, bend your left knee. Move your left knee to your left tricep and slowly come into crow pose. If you've got some more from crow pose, you extend your right leg out to the side, you lean forward and you extend your left leg. One breath, slowly downward facing dog. Walk your hands towards the backs of the mat. Come into Padahastasana, palms face up. Step on your hands, find where that wrist crease and that fold is, and you fold down. Elbows will go out to the sides, shoulders will lift up. Long and spacious neck, everybody. So allow the mind to be challenged into somewhat thinking, feeling what it needs and what options it needs to consider. Slowly halfway lift, fold and empty out. Rise up and breath. Hands to prayer, empty and exhale. Hands to the sides. Walk midway across your mat. Right leg is your standing leg this time. Stork pose, so you inhale up. Figure four with your legs, empty and exhale. Stay here. Thread your left hand on the inside of the right ankle and lift the right arm up for a figure four twist. If you want to do the arm balance, move the chest forwards, round the spine until the hands ground. Once your hands ground, flex your left foot, reconnect the shin, make them parallel. Left knee, left ankle, find opposite armpits. Move the elbow tips to line up with your wrist creases. You lean forward, pull the right heel to your bottom. Once the right heel is into your bum, extend your right leg back. If you want a funky transition, bend the right knee, move the right knee to the tricep, slide your left foot slightly, come into crow pose. If you still have more in you, extend your left leg out to the side, lean forward and extend your left leg, right leg. One breath here. Slowly downward facing up. Come 
forwards, walk the toes, and come into a squat pose. Almost there, everybody. Hands in front of the heart. Lift your chest. Let the spine be longer. And what we want to do is allow the mind to process the practice, not shock it. And these physical poses are somewhat a key for us to unlock the mind and allow the mind to peel the layers. Bring the hands out to the outsides of the hips. Sit the bum. Straighten your left leg forward. Move your right heel as close to your bum as possible from Richiasana A. Your right bum will lift a little, that's all good. Move your left hand to the side of the left hip. Right hand extends up. Lean forward. Make your right shoulder lower than the right knee. Move the right arm out to the side. Right thumb down, bend the elbow, and maybe go into a bind or get your straps, get your jumpers ready, and think of your chest moving forwards as you exhale. Shoulders away from your left thigh. Keep squeezing and snuggling that right knee towards your right armpit. Rise up slowly. Release the bind. Reland the right knee down. Right shoulder foot goes up to the inner thigh. You turn towards your right knee. Left hand can go down on top of the thigh or forearm can go down. Right hand behind the head. Turn and lean towards your left foot. Keep the right shoulder open and stay here. Option to straighten the arm and catch the foot, but really turn the torso. Option for your left hand to catch the inside of the foot, but let your shoulders open to the ceiling. Slowly rise up, still facing the right knee. Right hand will land back. We come into flash dance, wild thing. Lift the hips up. One more inhale. Slowly release. Switch sides. Right leg straight. Left knee bends. Don't forget to flex the right foot. Left heel as close to your hip as possible. Right hand goes alongside the right hip. Left arm reaches up. Get lower than your left knee. Left arm extend out to the side. Then the thumb goes down and the elbow and find that bind. Lift the chest, shoulders away from the right thigh. straight, land your left knee out to the side, sole of the foot on the inner thigh, turn your torso towards your left knee, right hand onto your left knee, left hand behind the elbow is an option, and then turn and lean towards the right foot. If this is somewhat accessible, left hand reaches forward towards your right toes, right hand reaches towards the inside of the right foot. Keep opening your shoulders. One more breath. 
So when we come up, still facing towards your left knee. Left hand down and back. Do a flash dance while opening. Inhale here. Slowly bring the hips down, everybody. We will bring the soles of the feet together into a loose diamond shaped butterfly. Thumbs are out, fingertips to point back just to open the shoulders, release the forearms, lift the chest. You can stay here for as long as you like, but think of you flexing your feet. So your pinky edges of the feet and the outside blades press onto the floor. And maybe for some of you, you'll be able to lift the hips up. Use your final exhalation to bring the hips down. Knees together this time, feet apart. As wide as the mat. Squeeze the knees just so they can be together. Ground both of your feet, but more weight goes onto your big toes. Keep the hands where they are and lift the hips up. Just to broaden the backs of the pelvis. Finish your last exhalation, bring the hips down. Bring your knees and your feet hip width distance apart. Your fingertips will point where your toes are pointing now. Fingertips to point to the fronts of your mat. Option to do a reverse tabletop. Yeah. Option to straighten the legs. But think of your inner thighs rolling in. Lift the chest and maybe the head moves up and back. Just two breaths. Slowly hips down, lie on your backs, almost there. Extend your arms out to the side of your version of twist. One-legged, both knees, or twisted eagle, or eagle or twisted roots twist, up to you. Shift the hips, opposite direction, so your spine remains vertical and even. Turn back to center and do the opposite side, the side that we haven't done yet. Shifting the hips to the opposite, or, uh, opposite direction a tad. This way your spine becomes more vertical still. Keep both shoulders grounded, that's your main priority over the twist. Eventually coming back to center, a simple hug knees to chest, a simple happy baby, that's feeling good for you. And once you're ready for the mind to reprogram and to re-establish a different pattern by using the asanas to find the option that it requires to be at peace, go into Shavasana. Easy. Body 
body soft, mind is well. Ideally, we stay in Shavasana for maybe three to five minutes. If you're ready to come out, you roll your wrists, you roll your ankles. Hug knees to chest, a simple hugging, acknowledging. Roll to your right or left, it doesn't matter, sideline. Eventually coming up into a seat. into prayer, bow your heads, and that's what practice feels. It's challenging, and it actually peels the layers more than the asana practice. So we crack open the mind, and we allow interesting and challenging stuff mind-wise, so we can address them one at a time. And that's the value of practice, honoring the body so we can break into our minds. Bow your heads. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. And have a great day wherever you are in the world. Hope that practice helped you out. See you soon.